body. Statutory body, sorry. Yeah. So, um, I mean, how would that affect his independence as, as, as chairman of Chief He has to perform duties for a statutory body, and by virtue of the performance of duties of another body other than the Chief, the Elections Commission, GCOM, obviously constitute the breach of the constitutional prescription in Article 161 that he shall only be doing full employment with the GCOM. That's obvious. That is what I think the framers intended. And it also meant that he had to even cut his veterinary duties. It was for that reason, too, uh, that the uh, arrangements were made for an extremely substantial salary so that it will take care of the offsetting of his veterinary duties and any other employee. The independence, too, could be affected adversely, largely because he will be in constant contact at the Livestock Development Authority with the Minister of Agriculture, who very well might very well be a candidate for the PPP in its exercise of selecting the presidential candidate. Don't ever feel that Mr. Robert Passard is out of the equation. And if he is not going to be constantly talking to, because of course as chairman, he has to communicate to the minister what and what policies they must have in the livestock sector, which is an extremely broad sector. On very many occasions, we don't know how much of an occasion that may be, or how many occasions that may be. So the independence of constantly talking to the minister, an executive person, to the extent of matters not relating to elections can touch and concern matters that affect independence, in our opinion, in the Alliance for Change. But it goes back to a more fundamental question that I stated in my statement there, that it is highly improper. Though it might not be a constitutional violation, let's say a court rule uh, by arguments after by advocates, after arguments by advocates, that indeed it is not affecting independence of his electoral sector. It is highly improper when the Constitution makes that prescription and you now go on and take on an employee that is otherwise. And that is why I made the argument that it is indeed employee, although he might not be taking any money and redirecting it to some charity, it is indeed employee because he will be taking what is called, um, now and again, matters of information, probably instruction, from the Minister of Agriculture. But was the party given any, was the party given thought to this? I mean, I think he mentioned to the President that Mr. Cartman visited his home and even um, spoke to him on the issue. Will I ask Raphael to deal with that, please? Well, as you ask the question about his veterinary clinic, I had a, such an emergency because I live about 10 doors away from Dr. Suresh Bali and I did uh, have to take my my dog there um, to his clinic and not to his home. And I was wondering whether the president had employed some peepers to peep at what I was doing. But I did take my, my animal to his clinic and um, not to compromise him. I paid for the drugs, but not for the service. And he used the occasion to brief me that he had accepted this appointment. I did not treat it as a formal consultation uh, because if it were, there would have been uh, persons taking notes and uh, I would have briefed the party in advance that I had been invited for a consultation. But in fact, yes, uh, his clinic is at his home. It is below his home I did visit. Um, it, it is a, a very uh, tight rope to walk because I know that he carries, conducts a clinic, but like I said, I, I was charged only for, for the drugs. I don't know whether it was a special favor or whether um, he charges fees. But um, we did have an idea, we did discuss it. But what I can say is that when he indicated to me that he had accepted the appointment and that he intended for all of his remuneration or stipend or whatever came with the position to be donated to charity, I did point out that he had placed himself, in my view, in, into a compromising situation and that I expected that someone not too, um, in the not too distant future to raise an objection to his uh, holding this position he said he would consider it and have his lawyers, I don't know who they are or who they were, uh, consider my, my proposition. But I did uh, raise it with him and I did report that to the party that I had had this uh, encounter with the chairman in his capacity as vet because I'd taken my dog there for treatment. 
and that's the extent of it. But the mm. coroners never know. Why didn't the party say something? Pardon? Why didn't the party say something? Perhaps we were waiting on your newspaper to do it for us. <laughs> but you did. Thank you. He did say that he would get his lawyers to review it. And we're not one to just run into the public with things and news that you hear. And, you know, we thought, firstly, that, that, the, that when the appropriate announcements had been made, that there had been legal advice sought and obtained on all, on all sides. And like I said, we, we don't um, want to be the ones who stand in the way of either free and fair elections, as well as um, in the way of the development of the dairy industry in Ghana, which has been suffering for many, many years. Any more questions? Yes, actually. Are you spoke of, you spoke about a study, that's what you said. I don't want to miss it. <coughs> you spoke about speaking to people. Yeah, I, I, I. It was a part of a study, that's what you said. It was part of my responsibility as a consultant to the AFC to, re to research before I make my recommendations to the party in terms of a strategy, in terms of a plan. I'm trying to exactly what regions. Oh, well, in all the regions, you know, prim primarily, um, uh, you know, the regions on the coast, and of course, I spoke to many people um, in, in just about all the regions. Um, and all, 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 all what I've done, um, of course, is, is the confidential information that belongs to the party and that can be disclosed and will be disclosed as the campaign unfolds. But you, you, from what you've heard, um, you're confident that Absolutely. They were confident in 2006 of making a change also. Yes, he was very confident to make an impact. Um, you're confident people are serious to get out there and vote? Absolutely, and I think in 2006 people were serious for change, and 30,000 people did make that serious commitment and, and for a change, and AFC is proud to have five seats in Parliament, and I think there are more people who are uh, very, very interested in, in shifting um, their voting pattern to a more issue-based uh, election. I think it will be a repetition of that which was provided over the last three, four years. Um, but more than that, there will be a lot of what I regard as political gimmickry this year with massive expenditures to nicen up, the, especially the strongholds of the PPP, Region 6 and Region 3, Region 5 and Region 2, making up all the streets and so on. And I rather suspect that the $6.7 billion taken only two weeks ago is heading towards that direction. Massive expenditure and there will be a larger budget deficit at the end of the year because it's an elections year. I just wanted to add the magic that once the budget, the annual presentation of the budget by the finance minister that once operated in this country has essentially vanished. It's much of the same old, same old, same old. In terms of um, the needs of the people in this society for more jobs and more disposable income, if this administration that has been in office for 18 years, 19, have not been able to do so, I doubt whether at this last hour with the 2000 presentation of the 2011 budget, that we will see any evidence of a willingness of this administration to craft a policy for the creation of more jobs for people. If you go there, and Salim will tell you this, everybody's crying out for work. The problems 